HighTechLegion.com. This is Skate and Eric here today to show you a motherboard from Gigabyte. This is the Z68XP UD5 Ultra Durable Motherboard. This is, if you look at their how they do their model numbers, they have UD3, UD5, UD7. The UD5 typically falls into their uh, more the high end to almost enthusiast. Uh, UD7 usually being one of their top of the line type motherboards. And what we get with this motherboard is pretty much all of the, the enthusiast features. Unlock performance with the, the K-SKU uh, Intel uh, second core Sandy Bridge, uh, second generation Sandy Bridge CPU. Uh, we get three years warranty. We get their uh, 3x3 power uh, with uh, 3x USB power, um, 3x uh, USB speed, and SATA 3.0. Uh, with this we also get all of the Z68 features such as uh, the Intel QuickSync and Virtue as well as uh, some good manufactured features with like Gigabyte's Touch BIOS uh, with their all uh, Japanese solid state capacitors, 20 phase power uh, and, and a lot more. Now if we take a quick look at the motherboard outside of the, the box here, we can see the overall scheme. It has a nice dark scheme to it, dark slots, dark colors, uh, even the heat sinks over the um, all the, the power phase things, the MOSFETs and everything. is It's a nice, nice dark gray, silverish with uh, the darker blue. Uh, I, I tend to like that, a little more low-key and less flashy. Uh, now looking at the specs in depth, we have the LGA 1155 to support all the Intel Core i7 and i5 and i3 uh, second gen processors. Um, what we get here is the four DIMM slots that can support uh, DDR3 up to 32 gigs of dual channel memory and with the Intel architecture it can go up to uh, 2133. And then we have uh, Right here is the power button. They actually, if you've seen some some other boards, they have them down at the bottom. They've actually, this one's right up here on the top. Uh, we have our own little external power button here. Uh, we have our dual bio switches right here for uh, resets and uh, changes uh, as they have the dual BIOS set up with this Gigabyte board. Uh, we got our 24 pin power connector. We got our uh, SATA connectors there. With the SATA connectors, we have the um, two SATA 6 gig, gigabyte uh, SATA connectors uh, and then four 3 gigabyte connectors. And then for other storage interface, they have the Marvell 88SE9128 chip for the eSATA, uh, the front and back panel eSATA connectors. And for USB connection, we have uh, 10 USB ports, 6 on the back panel, um, and 4 through the internal headers. Uh, those are controlled by the uh, Renesis uh, D720200 chip and two VLI VL810 hubs. Okay, now for expansion slots here, there are three. Uh, PCIe 16X slots. Uh, when you have one card in, one will run at 16X and the other will default to 8X. Uh, the third one will run at 4X. Uh, there are two PCIe 1X slots here and then just two PCIe slots. For audio, they have the Realtek ALC889 uh, codec chip there, which is just your basic high definition audio uh, with up to 7.1 channel surround sound, uh, Dolby Hole home theater, and it does support uh, SPDIF out. Now, for rear connectivity here, we have our PS2 keyboard mouse port, uh, we have two USB. 2.0 ports. Uh, we have our optical connections. Uh, we have eSATA. Uh, they actually included FireWire as well. Um, we have the eSATA USB combo connectors, uh, USB 3.0 connections, and then we have our uh, LAN here that is a Realtek RTL 811E chip uh, gigabit LAN, and then our 3.5 millimeter connections. Now, Gigabyte has also included their unique features with this motherboard. We get the uh, App BIOS, Q Flash, Q Express BIOS Rescue, uh, their Download Center, Express Install, Express Recovery, their Easy Tune that you might have seen on a lot of their other motherboards. 
Uh, their Dynamic Energy Saver, Smart 6, uh, Auto Green, Extreme Hard Drive, uh, on off charge with the USB ports, the extra charge even when the computer's off. Uh, Cloud OC, the 3 terabyte plus unlock, uh, the Touch BIOS, and the Q Share. Now, inside the box here, we have all the accessories. Uh, first is the manual here. The driver CD is installed inside the packaging here. We have extra SATA cables. Got our back panel shield. Now, they include the front panel uh, USB for a 3.5 uh, drive bay, ODD drive bay. Uh, so if your case doesn't already have uh, the front pin header support, uh, you get one with this motherboard. We got an extra little warning card with the socket, just warning you that this is the, for the Sandy Bridge uh, 1155 socket, not the 1156. Multilingual install guide, little smart response technology install guide, little sticker here. And then a nice ESA LI interconnect bridge. And that is the Gigabyte Z68 XP UD5.